All right, call it a culture clash. The New York City's mayor, uh, mayor's office ordering museums to report the racial diversity of their entire staffs. And if they don't, they'll be cut off from funding. The city says they want a workforce reflecting the city's diverse population. But is this, is this a fair way to do it? Here to debate it are Democratic strategist Brian Benjamin and radio talk show host Larry Elder. Does this bother you, Larry? Uh, it does bother me. We are already a bunch of laws on the books, both federal and state, uh, that guard against discrimination in hiring based upon race or, or creed or sexual orientation. So this goes far beyond that. This is a politically correct, demographically diverse uh, workforce that the mayor wants. Uh, and where do we take this? Why not uh, apply this to any kind of institution in New York that gets taxpayer money? What about the Yankees? What about ensuring that the oboe section of the New York Philharmonic is racially diverse? How far do you want to take this? The left doesn't want a, a colorblind society. They want a color coordinated society society as long as they're the ones doing the coordinating. Right. No matter how well intentioned this might be, this is a form of liberal fascism. Brian, you think this is overdue. <laughs> I think this is way overdue. First of all, I think when you look at what the mayor is trying to say, which is that if you want city funding, we want to know that you embrace diversity. There is no quota that says you have to meet certain standards. They're looking for at a demographic spreadsheet of what does your staff look like <laughs> and what are your priorities. I don't think that's inappropriate when you're getting city funds and the majority of this city are, is a minority city. So on July 20th, this letter goes out, Larry, and it tells everyone you better fill out the application and that if you want to get any funding to begin with, but if you fill out the application and it turns out you're more one race or or, or you're not as diverse as you should you might be have to fire some staff I guess in order to get the funding to keep yeah. your doors open I, I guess so and what happens what happens when the city changes de dem demographically 10 years or f 15 years down the road do you hire those that are the quote wrong race what, ha what happened to merit what happened to qualifications what happened to experience well first of all that's included in this whole process because if you look at the questions that were asked is to, is to consider that and I just think you're over you guys are both overblowing it we the mayor's gonna hire a diversity consultant who's gonna look at this issue I think it's important that our, our city institutions reflect the city I don't think that's an inappropriate thing to ask for and I don't think that the mayor is saying that there are quotas so I don't, I don't want you to overstate what's what's going on here it's to make sure that our cultural organizations that get our city funding <laughs> actually care about diversity and that's gonna be reflected in whether or not the city gives them funds I think that is an appropriate way for us city to take place and I think other cities around the country should follow the same lead of, of Mayor de Blasio and Larry you want to the uh, New York Philharmonic Go yeah, ahead. should the New York Philharmonic uh, hire people based upon based upon race? It's not based about upon hiring. diversity. It's about based it's upon a, talent. Well, 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 you hire based on talent, but you need to consider diversity within that. That's not inappropriate. We wouldn't be on this on on this on microphone right now if that wasn't part of the, but, the, the, I mean, the uh, what, dynamic. Is there a situation where minorities <laughs> have worked hard to get into the museum business and have been locked out? I would imagine so. I'm not in that space, but I would imagine so. And I think, but I think that's goes one more time. Ways. We already sorry, have laws ahead. on the books to guard against. Right. We already have laws on the books to guard against discrimination and provide people legal recourse if they feel gotcha. that they are. But it's the city's money. The city right. can do what it wants with its money. Uh, and you that, don't want it. Just just get private really? funds. Uh, and maybe they will do that. Uh, <laughs> Brian Benjamin, Larry Elder. Uh, here we go. Um, thanks Thank so you. much for the debate. It'll continue, <laughs> especially in New York.